Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna start a new series. As I look at the world of bass fishing, everything today costs so much money. From boats to live scope to uh, literally lures. There's lures up there, swim baits in the hundreds of dollars. Crank baits these days are nine, 10 bucks a piece. But there are lures that have stood the test of time. Lures that are cheap, affordable, but they always catch bass. And some of those lures have been forgotten. So today we're gonna talk about the first one, the ribbon tailed worm. Tip up. Oh, all right, stop reeling. Stop reeling, bring it this way. Bring it, look at that, hold them up. The ribbon tailed worm is a classic bait. This bait has caught me hundreds of fish over my lifetime. I went fishing with Flynn the other night in the pond just out, you know, father son time. He tied on this ribbon tailed worm with pink and blue on it. He's like, I'm gonna catch one on it. He had like five bites. He caught a really nice bass on it. So that's just kind of a reminder that sometimes as anglers, we get caught up in the latest and greatest, what the guys are throwing on the tour, what electronics they're throwing, what boats are throwing. So today we're gonna talk about the ribbon tailed worm. Now, I rigged this bait up in a number of ways. Flynn was fishing at weightless. You'll see that clip here in a second. I'm gonna add a 16th ounce Wu Tungsten weight on there, a bead, a stop, and literally a number four worm hook right there. And that is literally the setup. I'm gonna go out there and smack them with it. Let's check it out. Got one. Keep the tip up. Keep the tip up. Tip up. Oh, all right, stop reeling. Stop reeling, bring it this way. Bring it this way. That's a nice one right there. Nice. All right, open the bale. The like you're gonna cast it. That's a nice one right there. On the worm. All right, you gotta hold it. That's gonna be the picture for the cover. All right, hold him under his belly and in his mouth. There you go. Hold him tight. Look at that. Hold him up. Nice. It's a good picture. All right, let him go. Good one, high five. Nice. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that, oh my goodness. That's a monster. That's the biggest crappie I've ever seen in my life. Look at that thing. Woo! <laughs> when I tell you a ribbon tail worm catches literally everything, look at the size of this crappie. This crappie is at least 15 and a half inches long. It is an absolute giant. It is a monster, folks at home. A literal monster. Look at this fish. That's crazy, right? I'm gonna measure it on my rod here, then we're gonna get him back in the water. But he goes to the very tip of that six gill rod. Let's let him go right here on the ribbon tail worm. Absolute monster. Good one. Get in the boat. There we go. Nice one. Nice fish. Beauty on that worm. There we go. See you. All right guys, so let's talk about this bait that has now caught me my PB crappie <laughs> and it caught me my first bass that I ever caught in my life. Um, the ribbon tail worm is a fantastic summertime bait and it's really a bait that's overlooked. The Cinco um, flipping baits, 
stuff like that has kind of really surpassed this bait in terms of where people use it and how they use it. A lot of guys fish the 10, 12 inch versions of this out on ledge, but the seven inch ribbon tail worm can be a versatile bait up shallow. I fish it in three ways. One, I fish it weightless. You saw Flynn catch that one fish out there weightless. This is a great bait to throw around pads, visible cover weightless and kind of burn on top. It kind of looks like a snake or an eel. It's a great topwater bait. It's also really killer on the back of a buzz bait if you're around the right kind of fish, right? Number two way I'm gonna throw this bait is Florida style right here. 16th ounce with that bead on it, right? Pegged weight. You can swim it through cover. You can swim it over and around stuff. That's the primary way that I fish it. Um, 90% of the time I'm gonna fish it weighted like that. You can also fish this bait Carolina rigged, right? If you're out there on the shell bars or you're shallow, Oh, you're fishing five, six feet of water, grass flats. Carolina rigging a ribbon tail worm is a great way to catch them, right? Uh, it's just a bait that's been forgotten and it doesn't break the bank, right? I got a pack of them here in my pocket. Let's look. Um, here we go. Power bait, right? 13 of them in there. And I think this package of worms is like four bucks. So 13 for four bucks, that's a heck of a bang for your buck, right? It's not a bait that's going to break the bank. It's a bait that you're going to catch a lot of fish. Also, when it gets down to it, if you are out of, you know, it's all tore up, you can take this and use it as a spinnerbait trailer. Just cut it right there, use it as a spinnerbait trailer. Chatterbait trailer also works good. You can cut the ribbon tail off of it and use it just as a four inch french fry worm. There's so much stuff you can do with this bait, guys. Let us know what bait you want to do next. I have an idea for a, a, a bait that's affordable that we can do next, but let us know <coughs> in the comment section what you guys want us to do next, what kind of fish you want us to go after, what baits you want to use, but I think I'm gonna turn this into a series right baits that don't break the bank that still catch fish forgotten baits things like that that you still use in your tackle box hey thanks for hanging out with us today i hope you got something out of the video give us a like and subscribe we'll